I'm going to be reviewing four, that's right, four pairs of Zero Shoes sandals. I'm going to give you, I actually don't know that I have any reviews on these other than the H Trail. So I'm going to be reviewing these just all in bulk because they're sandals and sandals are sandals. So let me get started. The first ones that I actually had is was these. The, technically the first ones I had was invisible shoes when they first got started. The first zero sandals that I had was Nabosa sandals. I've had these since 2020 or 2021. I've had them a long time. As you can see, they wear very, 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 very well. I don't know if they've done any revisions of these. I haven't looked into that. I do like everything about these shoes. I like that they don't have a toe, the, the toe prong or whatever. I like that the, the side thing is very thick. So it the way it holds your foot into place is very robust, I guess. The side wall here, the side, you know, the this piece right here, perfectly comfortable. I don't mind that it's in the middle of the, you know, the sandal. Uh, at all it does it my fit fits in there perfectly once these things are exactly where you want it is a little bit of a pain to get this this kind of set up exactly where you want it to once it is though they're just set it and forget it you know you just you loosen this back thing and you can get them on actually sometimes i can just slide my foot in here and just uh, bring this this back uh, up and and just it's, everything's perfectly fine Th that definitely a 5,000 mile warranty you're never I don't think you're ever going to use a 5,000 5, mile warranty on these things at all I've worn these a lot as you can see I actually <laughs> I actually washed these off before I did this video and as you can see it just it, they've been worn a lot they've got a lot of gunk in them and and stuff like that and I really 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 appreciate this you do definitely get used to the Nabosa Naboso or whatever uh, sole on here with these little bumps. You definitely get used to that after a while. I don't actually really have any complaints about these whatsoever. These are these are uh, pretty foolproof. Uh, you know, you just you, you find the lacing exactly how you like it, or if this is called lacing, I don't know what this is called, webbing, wh whatever it's called. You, you you put it exactly where you want it, and that's it. Um, what I would use these for is basically anything. I, I, I there's no surface that I have walked in that I haven't uh, had great luck with these. I haven't like taken them off any like crazy trails with like really big boulders or anything like that. But I have taken them off trail. I've taken them on trails that were not that groomed. I've taken them actually in a swamp one time. I didn't know I was getting into a swamp, but I didn't really have anywhere to go but the swamp and they were fine. Yes, I would I would really recommend these. Uh, now, if you're somebody who does not like the bottom of their foot being touched, that might be an issue with you with these, with the, the I don't know what you call it, these little bumps here. That might be an issue. I don't know. I I, I like them uh, just the way they are, and I would recommend them a hundred percent. The next ones that I'm going to talk about are the just. I'm just going to go in the order that I bought them. I think this is called the Z Trail. This was the original Z Trail. If you if you look at the new Z Trails, they got more of uh, this kind of tread right here. Uh, these are the originals. The styles are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to review these because I'd imagine that you're, there's not a whole lot of difference between this, the older version and the newer version, other than the fact that they put bigger, wider spaced lugs on there. As you can see on the bottom of these things, I've put a lot of miles on these as well as the Nibosas. The one thing that I, oh, the footbed on this is so comfy and it actually kind of eventually molds to your foot, kind of. If you if you really look at you know the the side profile of this, you'll see that it kind of molded to my foot. I think the uh, H trail might might do that a little bit more than that, but I haven't reviewed that one or I haven't shown that one yet. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm just noticing this now. I don't even know if I can get that on camera. It's kind of like I don't know. I guess that's from my heel, so I guess it did wear in there uh, quite a bit. What have I uh, worn these on? Cement, uh, asphalt trail off trail in water just any kind of i've worn these to the beach i've worn these on grass i've worn these in rivers i've worn these in a creek i've worn these just about every kind of surface area that you're going to find and they have performed great 
and I really like them. They don't flap on the ground like a lot of sandals do. They hold up really well, like, you know, they're holding themselves up. The only thing I do not like about these, and I know you can cut it off, is I don't know why. Oh, I just noticed this. <laughs> this is peeling a little bit here. Maybe I can use my 5,000 mile warranty on that. I don't know. But, uh, or just shoe glue. This, I don't understand this. I noticed that they didn't put this on the H trail. Thankfully, I don't understand why this was, this was to keep stuff out. All it did was keep stuff in and it's so annoying. And it's probably actually now that I think about why this looks like that, because once a stone gets in here, it's in there. You're, you've got to basically stop what you're doing and, and take your shoe off or whatever and get that out. So I've seen a lot of people cut this off and uh, for good reason. It serves no purpose whatsoever. Maybe, you know what? No, it doesn't because I got, this is the only sandal that I have with this cup on it. And it actually gets more stuff under my heel than the rest of them. So it doesn't even do what it claims it's supposed to do. That is the only negative I have about that. And I looked at the new ones today and they still have this cup. You can cut it off. I've seen a lot of people cut it off and then they kind of grind the rubber down, or the foam or whatever this is down a little bit. Set it and forget it, basically. It's, it's, it's basically the Nobosa, the, you know, the exact same thing with this webbing, lacing, whatever you want to call it. Once you get it set, it's exactly where you want to. On this one, I do have to use the strap and the heel to get them on. But that's no big deal. And then they, they work just, just fine. So definitely, if you don't like, like the idea of having the bumps this is definitely a good replacement for that. The side thing is just as robust as it is on there. I don't think that you're going to wear through that. If you did, it's got a 5,000 mile warranty. And yeah, these things are good for about anything. And I've actually worn these even in cold weather and they were fine. I mean, my feet got a little cold, but they were fine. Next one. These are the Genesis. There's not actually a whole lot to say about this. I really like, this is definitely a, a lacing. This is not a webbing. I really like the lacing. I liked the the toe thong on this. It, it It's really comfortable. I have not noticed any of that kind of abrasion, rubbing of any kind. I can't run. I actually have a fixed ankle. I guess I technically can run. It looks really ugly and I don't like doing it. So I don't. But so I can't really comment on the, the runability of these. I can comment on the hikeability and walkability of these things. And it's great. They surprisingly stay on the foot really well. I have had issues with them kind of folding under a few times. Not not a lot. Nothing to, you know, be mad about. As you can see, I've got a lot of miles on these things too. And it looks like, you know, other than there's a little bit of dirt in there. These things look like the day I got them. I got a lot of miles on these. It's ironic because I bought these actually at the beginning of fall. I think two two years ago or so. And I got a lot of use out of them, even in the winter, not winter, but like the fall time, like it, they were still really good. Uh, you know, like if, uh, you know, I, they're, they were good for that too. So if you're somebody who likes kind of that Wim Hof thing, you know, having your, your toes out in the cold or whatever, it's, it's really good for that too. Now I have not taken anything out in the snow or anything, you know, they're, they're just, they're bare bones, they're flappy, they're, you're going to feel the ground for sure. If, like the other two that I reviewed, if you want something that's more like I got a little bit of training wheels on it, uh, you know, as far as ground feel, those are definitely it. If you want something that you are going to feel every part of that ground, this is this is it. This is kind of like having just a little thin uh, piece of rubber on the ground as you're walking. That's that's what it is. I did a review for these. This is the H Trail. I'm not going to talk about these too much because this is, I think, the only sandals that I've done a review for. The main difference between this and the Z Trail is, thankfully, they didn't put any cup on it. And the lace, the webbing, I'm going to call it, on this is, like, so customizable. It's crazy. I think there's, what, five pieces on here. You know, you can, you can move it up and down. You can tighten this. You can tighten this. You can tighten that, loosen that, tighten that, loosen this. The toe is about the same on this as it is on this. I, it's actually a little thicker on this one, which I, I kind of like more than this. I got nothing to really complain about other than it keep. The, I've got three pairs of these things I've had because I, I sent them back for warranty. And they all keep doing this. I'll give up. I'm not going to send another pair in for warranty. This is, this is what it is. This, tra this is um, a trail only for me. 
If you're somebody who's going to be wanting to have the same sandal on for the trail and the sidewalk and asphalt and grass and the sand and all that, I would not buy these at all. I just would not. If you're looking for something, if you want to have a couple different pair, I would probably get, depends on if you're somebody who likes something in between your toes. These two is probably what I would get. I would wear these for everything other than, you know, what I would wear these for. And that is that is my review. I'm not gonna go over this again. Like I said, I will put a card up for the review of this the sandal. Which one is my favorite? Which one would I, if I could only buy one of these? I think I would have to go with. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like the 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 bumps here. These are great. Like I would actually pick the Z Trail if the Z Trail didn't have that cup in the back. I would because these things I never have anything. You know, knock on wood, I never have anything get caught in the back here. These things are just a, like a workhorse. Now, do you get tired of this after a while? Kind of. So if that's a big deal, definitely the Z Trail is is your option, but I would not, I would not, if you just need, if you've got one pair, I would not pick the H trail. It would not be my pick. Ironically, actually my top pick is something I don't even have anymore. And it's not even a zero shoe. It's the Luna do it yourself kit that I got back in the day when born to run. I think that was what the book was called back when that book was popular. I got those then that is actually the ones that I would pick. That being said, that's the review. Any comments, questions, ask me anything about these. I've had all of them other than the, the H trail I got like the day they came out. Uh, and the rest of them I've had for over two years, two to four years or so, uh, two to three years, pr probably somewhere in there. And I've worn them a lot. Any questions, leave them down below. That's the video. Talk to you in the next one.